Hey everybody, how you doing? I'm gonna open this up and tell you how man, I'm just an idiot. I am. Uh, you know what I did? I recorded the entire audio for this and I forgot to plug in my microphone. <laughs> so I had a it recorded on my laptop's microphone, which does pick up okay, but it I was leaned back thinking I had a hold of my microphone so I sound like I'm seven miles away because I am so yeah this is take two how you doing uh hey guess what there's this big convention down in uh San Diego and a lot of people are talking about it, and people are revealing things left and right I'm telling you what so I am not a news channel nor do I ever profess to be I am just kind of a normal person who has thoughts and ideas and so, um, with that in mind, I'm just going to run through some things that have been revealed at San Diego that has caught my eye. Um, I'm not going to run through any trailers right now. It's mostly going to be centered around the toys that were revealed. Because uh, there's a lot here that uh, I'm really happy with, and I hope you are too. So, I'm going to start off with the Eternia playset. And uh, this got revealed uh, on preview night. Then we get word that uh, Mattel is going to have it crowdfunded. Yeah, um, I'm, you know, I, I'm not getting uh, crowdfunding for big corporations. It's for one thing, um, crowdfunding has always been a source for smaller companies to get revenue to build up and give you a product. At least that's what I always thought. Um, and, you know, they use what they make off of the crowdfunding to go to mass retail. And um, that, that's fine. That's fine. I mean, some people moan Simon for it. But here we got Mattel doing it. And B, when they do these things, it, it says to me, let me explain to you how we don't understand our fandom. So what we're going to do, we're going to put things out there. And if you support it enough, why, by golly, we're going to make it. Gum dinger. And this is my issue with big corporations uh, crowdfunding. It's because it's like... you you just telling your audience you don't know what you're doing. And uh, so, behind, behind, beyond that, I should be talking about this playset. Um, a lot of people went nuts because this was like that final playset in the, in the Masters of the Universe line, etc., etc. I was never really a fan of this playset. Um, just the aspect of, you know, a giant sky subway that kind of floats around two towers. I don't know. I just never felt that was a really great playset. And I didn't, you know, they can't be actually Snake Mountain. They can't be actually Grayskull because it's too small. And so I never really cared for it that much. Unpopular opinion, maybe. I don't know. I mean, I, this one just kind of like, I, I looked and I went, okay. Um, all right, they're gonna crowdfund it. Wow. Okay, weird. And uh, I kind of moved on. Um, now I also noticed that they had a. Uh, <laughs> um, and I should not laugh because somebody out there might like this. And I, I'm, I'm not trying to put anybody down, but you know, at the same time, I I have very bad memories of the relaunch of the He-Man cartoon, the second version, and some people don't even know it exists. Um, but uh, the you know. Um, Mattel's going to put a figure of that he version of He-Man out. And, uh, I don't know. I just cracked up when I saw it. I just thought it was funny that they would go there. So, um, yeah. Um, that, that's really all it is. I just thought it was hilarious. Well, sticking on the Mattel bandwagon here, uh, let's go over some stuff from San Diego Comic Con, uh, from WWE. Hey, Vince McMahon retired today. He officially has retired from the WWE now. You know, a lot of people said, oh, he's just going to have Patsy in his place, you know. He'll tell what to do. Maybe, you know what, but I... I I'm not going to get into Vince right now because uh, this that's a video for another time. Um, but, first up, I just cracked up that they even made this. Uh, uh, for those of you who don't know, Ron Simmons. Uh, yeah, Ron Simmons. He had this uh, uh, Spartan. I think it was Spartan or Gladiator. I can't remember this gimmick. They got shoehorned with um, way back when, and uh, it's just a hilarious look. It just looks terrible. 
and uh, you know I, I I saw some I remember this and I remember Ron Simmons just looking like going oh man come on why are you making me do this um you know he got shoehorned with a gimmick and he had a job to do so he went with it and I don't blame him um I don't bemoan him for it um it's kind of a funny figure so I just thought I'd mention it moving on uh we have another one uh <laughs> Mr. America. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, this was a this was a gimmick. Hulk Hogan was fired by Vince. Then um, I believe it was Stephanie signed on Mr. America, an unknown res, uh, a wrestler that she didn't see him before signing or anything. Just signed him sight unseen because she was told he was so popular. Comes out and it's obviously Hulk Hogan <laughs> and. And, you know, Vince is saying, you can't be here. And he goes, <laughs> I remember once he literally, I remember that he literally looked at Vince and went, what do you mean I can't be here, brother? <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm not Hulk Hogan, brother. <laughs> yeah, just, I, it was a short-lived gimmick, but it was funny. And uh, I'm somewhat interested in this figure just because I have fond memories of that gimmick. I just thought it was so cute. I mean, cute. Love, listen to me. I sound like a Care Bear. <laughs> I thought that was so funny. Um, Andre in civilian clothes. There's two versions of this. Um, I'm back and forth on it. I may buy this figure. I don't know for certain. Um, I, I You know, this was Andre in the late years. Um, yeah, I mean, this is what he was doing. He was walking around with, uh, you know, in his civilian clothes unless he was in a fight, you know. Um, I'd be down with it. I, I'm... I may. I'm. I'm not gonna say I won't. I won't say I will either. It's a. Uh, you know. I don't know. Um. I had this render of the Macho King. I'm down with that. Um. That is a great old school Randy Savage. I uh, managed to get in my pre-order for the NWO Ultimate Randy Savage. Um. On a. Was it Tuesday, Wednesday? God, it's been a crazy week. Um, so I was really happy to get that. Um, do one another Macho Man to kind of balance that out. Um, yeah, I guess so, you know. Um, there's a Polly Dangerously. I think he's supposed to be from the ECW days, but at the same time, he has a cell phone and he has the ECW hat. Uh, it seems like there were the early days of ECW he had that going on, but then he kind of dropped the cell phone. Um, maybe not. I'm not sure. Well, I mean, I um, I don't hate it, but I don't think I'm going to buy it. Um, it's one of those things that's like, yeah, I remember this is kind of cool. And I'm glad they did it. I mean, I'm real glad they did it. Um, finally, a good AJ Styles. Um, this is the kind of, I, I wanted an AJ Styles. Um, one of the non-WWE res wrestlers that really, to me, was just really awesome. Um, there's also a younger version from WCW. Wow, I mean, talk about a wild thing. Because he did appear in the last, second to last Nitro. Um, was his first appearance for WCW. He wasn't on the last one. Technically, he was wrestling there. He had one match. <laughs> so they technically can make that character. So I thought that was funny and, you know, it might be a good one. But this is the one I'm going to aim for, for sure. Um, just like the figure. All right. Ultimate Warrior. They had so many Ultimate Warriors. Um, the one I, I, that really stuck out to me is WrestleMania 6. I couldn't find um, his. Uh, I couldn't find his picture, but, you know, this is a good one, too. Um, definitely in for Ultimate Warrior. I need an Ultimate Warrior in my collection, that's for sure. Vader, ah, so happy to get a second shot at him. This is, uh, he's just one of those guys, he was huge when I was a kid. Um, went to WWF, uh, kind of floundered there, um, but was huge in WCW. So, uh, yeah, really up for that. Shawn Michaels in his more, um, in one of his younger years, in his younger years, Wanted to get a younger Shawn Michaels. I think this might be the one. That outfit is really awesome. Okay, I'd cr I, not one I'm going to pick up, but I laughed at. I, you know, some of these are just humorous to me. Is the Dingo Warrior with a swappable Ultimate Warrior head? That's so damn funny. Because uh, Ultimate Warrior ran around as Dingo Warrior for a little while in, uh, I believe, World Class Championship Wrestling after him and Sting broke up as a tag team. New NWO Nash, down for that. 
Shelton Benjamin, waiting for a good Shelton Benjamin. Here it is. He's got a ladder. Why? Because he's king of the ladder matches. Come on, man. I think he's one of the most underrated wrestlers of all time. This is Eric Bischoff. Um, again, more showing than anything. I'm not pretty sure I'm not going to get him, but I keep wondering who's the head beside of him. That's not Bischoff. I have no clue who that is, and nobody's talking about it. It's like, okay, at first I kind of got a Alfred Hayes vibe off of it, but that's not it. And I'm really stumped, so yeah, I, I don't know. It's, it looks like it's they're going for a two-in-one figure on this. Though, of course, everybody's focusing on Bischoff, so nobody's talking about the head. One of my faves of all time, Bam Bam Bigelow. Uh, a very underrated wrestler, in my opinion. Really like him, and I believe this is a second chance figure as well. Um, really can't wait to get my hands on that one. He was one of my favorites when I was a kid, so I'm really happy with that. Same thing with Jake the Snake. This is a reissue. There's just some slight retooling uh, from what I was told uh, from some people. But uh, yeah, I think that, you know, this is another one. I, I really wanted a Jake the Snake Roberts. I've just always liked Jake the Snake. He was such a cool wrestler. Um, wrapping it up with, again, this is one. Gave me a chuckle, made me smile. The Mega Powers Pack, the one thing I really liked about this was the handshake hands. You know, and they, they, they yeah. Um, it also has the old school belt. Um, yeah, that's, you know, it's a pretty good set. I like it. So, yeah, that wraps up WWE. Now, believe it or not, San Diego Comic Con was not the only thing going on. There was the Walmart Collector Con, which I never get because it's never, there's not a physical location and blah, blah, blah. So, I managed to get my lizard pre ordered. Did not realize I was ordering Black Panther. Um, the last time I checked Black Panther's supposed to be here Saturday. That's quick. I uh, didn't realize I was buying him, but that's fine. I'm cool. I'm down with it. I'm good. I'm real good with it. Um, was not interested in the Spider-Man, but, um, I have to bring him up because he sold out within five minutes. Then he went back up, sold out within ten minutes. I think he went back up. I think he sold out and went back up five times. And, of course, before the end of the day, scalpers were all over the place with pre-orders well over 100 150 dollars yeah thanks guys nice of you to do that now um through some of the coverage of comic con uh, there was a rumor going around about a move the next mcu movie was going to be announced was law mutants and this raised a whole lot of ire and wokeism yeah um i i mean I don't know. I think somebody overheard somebody in MCU said we're working on the Mutant movie or something like that, and it got misunderstood. I mean, we're talking about the Mutant movie because they haven't titled it yet. You know, we're doing a movie about mutants. And, you know, it might be X-Men. Probably X-Men. I mean, you know, there's no reason not to call it the Uncanny X-Men. But, uh, you know, uh, everybody kind of threw a fit. I think this is a... I think this is just a rumor that's gotten out of control. And uh, this... Of course is fan made so it's not even real so you know there's no reason to get all uptight about it so let it go um gi joe i don't remember how much being revealed uh, except for sergeant slaughter um and uh slaughter um he went up at hasbro pulse went to go reorder him saw that 35 dollars price and i said nope um you know, he doesn't come with that many accessories. It's not... I, I don't see a reason for a $35 price on Slaughter. I'm sorry. Um, you know, he would have been great as a regular price figure. I'd have even got a few dollars more just because he's an exclusive. 35 that's way too much. I stepped away. Um, he wasn't a must-have for me. I was just interested. So, you know, it's not a heartbreak. But, uh, yeah, that was just too much. The trailer for the D&D movie dropped. And uh, Hasbro dropped the gelatinous cube. And I was like, oh boy. And then I saw that Chris Pine was in it. And I was like, uh. So, yeah, you know, you get ideas for this. And um, I was thinking, you know, let me see the price point. Maybe I can take Chris Pine out of it and put someone else in it that I really like. Um, okay, Chris Pine ain't the worst of the Chris's. But, you know, still, ain't the best either. 
you know, Evans is the best. You know, Hemsworth's like a close second. We won't talk about any of the others. All right, so in San Diego, Marble Select Apocalypse was revealed in Oh Boy. He's looking pretty. He looking nice. He's blue. Yabba yabba die. And uh, I've got to say that the Mar Marvel Select version looks a lot sturdier and uh, beefier than the uh, Hasbro version. Let alone the colors are much nicer. I saw a couple of people complaining about the face sculpt. I'm like, eh. Yeah, you know, that's what Apocalypse looked like in his first few appearances. So I'm not... I'm not upset about that. So, yes, yeah, so what I did was, you know, hopped over to uh, Big Bad Toy Store, canceled my pre-order on the uh, Hasbro one, and put my order in on the Marvel Select. Uh, it is $10 cheaper, but the other side of it is, in addition to what you see, we also get a drill, claw, and a spike ball. Things we've actually seen Apocalypse do. Whereas, you know, people, a lot of people loving the gun. Um, I don't even remember Apocalypse making a gun in his arm. Uh, then again, you know, I didn't read much past his original appearances, so maybe. But I doubt it. Anyway, I just feel it's a superior figure. It's probably going to be almost the same scale. It's cheaper. You're going to sacrifice a little bit in articulation, but you know what? It's not so terrible that you can't work with it so yeah that's my kind of my thing on the uh, Marvel Select Apocalypse now moving on um, we did have some reveals from the vintage collection uh, Luke Skywalker um, from the Mandalorian I don't know um, he kind of looks like a normal everyday Jedi Luke I mean he does have the cloak this is a maybe for me I'm not positive on this one uh cal kestis um i was kind of glad to see him in figure form that's pretty nice um we also have a kaladian is that how you pronounce kalatu yeah. uh a raider um i'm not too keen on this i'm not jumping for joy or anything so i'm gonna pass on it um then of course um uh, Boba Fett Starship. Uh, that's kind of literally what they call it. So, you know, we call it Slave One. Some people call it the Spitfire or whatever it was. Uh, whatever they change the name to. I, I don't know. I keep passing this up because of the price point. I may bend. I, I'm not gonna say one way or the other. Um, I still have my vintage Slave One. It seems okay. Um, but you know, I probably do need to do an upgrade. But yeah anyway and then let's wrap up with marvel legends which uh you know i mean let I, you know there were a couple of things i was questioning you know like razorback i was like eh, you know i mean a weird character but not one of my favorite even weird characters i mean i may i may not it depends it's uh, one of those oddballs that is iffy on my line i, I was like going where spot uh the human fly i was like why 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 well, I mean, give me spot man come on <laughs> you know <laughs> um spot but so but they did have some cool stuff finally first up uh these are supposed to go up on um, pre-order on at five o'clock on saturday um pulse and the fan channels which i think include big bad toy stores Bork side uh, whatever um and then some of them are going to be Amazon exclusive, blah, blah, blah. I mean, you know, I'm not going to get into the whole breakdown. Um, I think some of these are Pulse exclusives, those. Though, though, blah, 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 yeah. I'll shut up. Because Terax. Wanted a new Terax. Got a new Terax. Actually, I saw some people saying this looked like it was the same build of figure they're from way back when i think 2016 or so maybe even 2014 and um yeah and it may be but i don't care it's a chance to get terax i mean get that build a figure now it's just like crazy and uh the the forgotten one her the galactus's first herald uh not one of my favorite characters but i will he's not a bad pairing with with terax um 
So, you know, I'll grab them. Anyway, I uh, was real happy about that one. As if to troll the crowd after everything that happened with the um, animated Spider-Man at Walmart. The Walmart uh, collector con. Spider-Man and his amazing friends. Uh, <laughs> so if you wanted an animate. Now this is a weird set because as far as I can tell, there's only one that has cell shading and that's Iceman. Um, weird. <laughs> it's very weird. Um, the Firestar now has pinless joints. I think that's the only thing that's different. Oh, Miss Lion is a different color, sorry. And while that's a good upgrade, I don't feel it's a need to buy the set just because I, if you have the, have the old one, the old one's just fine. Even with the pin joints, I mean, it's just, it's pretty, it's still pretty solid. Um, then of course Spider-Man, which, um, I think looks like a different head sculpt, but I don't know. And it's not really important to me either. It's not, uh, that's not a set I'm really jumping for joy about or anything. Um, surprised, you know, odd that they took this long to do it, but, uh, yeah, okay. So, then we get something great. And I even heard on the live stream people saying, hey, that's from the animated series. He looks like from the animated series too. Scorpion. Um, and of course, keeping in mind that, uh, you know, a couple of the people who worked on the Spider-Man 5-inch line were there. They didn't call it the animated series line. They called it the Toy Biz 5-inch Spider-Man line. So I'm going to make, I'm going to stick to my, uh, this is not the animated series line. This never was the animated series line. You know, until I hear one of them call it that, fine. But, uh, yeah, I know, stupid, right? But anyway, this scorpion looks really awesome, really great. I really love it. I cannot wait to put in a pre-order for it. I don't do pre-orders very often, and, and that should tell you something. I'm putting in three pre-orders based off of what we saw yesterday. So, all right, but the, the oh, some masterpiece is beast and he's a beast a big beast um he comes with removable glasses beakers lab coat and swappable heads you can have him screaming or stoic yes please been one of the biggest problems i've had with beast um i'm really stoked for this one if i get this one i probably might actually retire my uh series my uh old school marvel legends beast because i really feel like hasbro has never topped that figure and this may top it um but in a different for different ways and different reasons than uh that beast figure a lot of it's the lab coat and the removable glasses uh that makes him almost a better figure uh you know i still don't think they'll nail down the articulation the way uh the the toy biz beast is but hey that's pretty close and it might work um from what i have been able to discern it doesn't look like uh, there's any new parts here that's a little bit of a letdown but you know what with new all those accessories i'm i'm good with it i really am i'm good with it so that is san diego comic con and we're all going to go broke <laughs> All right, that's it for Infinite Realms today. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe.